All right, thanks so much, Pete. After months of quiet, Kilauea is now erupting for the third time this year. The volcano erupted back in January and then again in June. Right now, no infrastructures are threatened for this current eruption. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientist in charge Ken Han joined us live on KITV4 Island News at 4. This is what he had to say about what to expect from this eruption. They start off with a lot of stored magma, so we have a tremendous amount of uh, lava coming out of the ground in the initial stages, and then it gradually tapers off as the eruption goes on. So, so we're still seeing a pretty high volume of lava, not, not as much as yesterday, but uh, we still have a lot of activity along about half of the fissure system. Kilauea's eruption back in 2018 was one of the most destructive in recent state history, destroying hundreds of homes in Leilani Estates. And the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park Service estimates thousands of visitors have already come to view Kilauea's lava show, and many more are expected. Park spokesperson Jessica Farrakane wants to remind everyone to respect the cultural experience when they come and respect the rules which are meant to keep everyone safe really important that people stay on trail. Uh, last night I was here after dark and we saw um, kids who were not being chaperoned by their parents just running like near the crater's edge. And that always is quite a challenge and um, uh, makes things a little nerve wracking when you have people running around in the dark, not realizing that there is a crater that falls almost 400 feet to the crater floor. Farrakane adds the popular Keana Kako'i Overlook was temporarily shut down due to excessive amounts of sulfur dioxide and Pele's hair, which are thin glass fibers that can be hazardous. 